Hello everyone and welcome. In sport, I really enjoy making hybrids. Just hybrid animals in general, I really like the process of taking two or three different animals and mashing them together. And so I figured, while we're all currently, you know, a little bit stuck at home and things are a bit, a bit down and gloomy, personally I've been getting the itch just to make more things in sport and I really wanted to share that with you guys as well. But more so, rather than just sharing the creations, rather that we all just get involved and just have some fun, do something creative together. I shared this idea on Discord, first of all, just to get the ball rolling. And it was incredibly well received. We got quite a few different bits of artwork from various people in the community to show you. And to you guys viewing on YouTube, I would really, really love if you could take part as well. Like I said, just to sit back, relax, do something a bit creative, have a bit of fun, get some weight off your shoulders, and let's just come up with some cool, silly, awesome, just whatever designs and enjoy yourselves. For our very first hybrid design, we went with a maned wolf and a dragon hybrid. <laughs> I know the dragon might seem a little bit predictable, but we're just having fun with this. We'll just start off with something quite nice and exciting. And this is my maned wolf dragon hybrid here. And with this one, so I really tried to do something a little bit different here. When I first looked at a picture of our maned wolf, they just look really regal and majestic. And it gave me this idea of like some rather mystical, spiritual kind of creature if combined with a dragon. I think uh, in my idea I had a bit more of like an oriental dragon in mind, but still wanted to westernize wings, of course. I mean, you can't have a dragon without wings, can you? <laughs> but um, like I said, I went with a bit more of a regal design. And in particular, so I tried to keep like mostly the wolf shape. I tried to go with a bit of a kitsune, I believe it's called, with the tails. Not quite nine tails, but with having like multiple tail kind of thing going on. Nice big fluffy wings, some antlers. It gave like a bit of a oriental look. And I'm not even sure what these little wispy bits here are, like on the shoulders, on the hands and feet. But like I said, I had like a very spiritual, graceful kind of thing in mind, which is why I also went this colour scheme. I went with the black because it is in the similar regions that a maned wolf normally has, and I want it to be quite similar to the maned wolf's colour scheme. But I went with the white and blue because, again, trying to go for a more spiritual theme, but also trying to avoid it just looking like a maned wolf. I always overcomplicate my hybrids, but why I enjoy them, to be fair. It does make my imagination go quite wild, and I just really enjoyed this. Now, speaking of which, it's not just mine that I get to show you guys. I get to show you a whole bunch of other interpretations, which I'm really, really excited about. So for our very first one was one by Sagasol. This is her interpretation of a maned wolf dragon hybrid. So Sagasol's hybrid here also starts with a maned wolf body. One thing to note, by the way, is that I did not show mine at all until the very end. So this is all of our own individual interpretations. That way, all of our imagination can run wild in our own directions. So yes, she went the maned wolf design as well. Kind of go, kind of looks like a bit of a uh, griffin kind of style. Actually, look at the talons or the um, the forelimbs being paws and the back limbs being claws. More dragony. I really like how she did the tail. Nice long bushy tail, but it kind of spikes out into like a bit more of a scaly texture at the end there. And of course, all the spikes, the mane, I just really like how this came out. And for our second one was one done by Sai, who is a very prolific modder for the community. And it was really interesting his interpretation as well, because not only does his involve, you know, his interpretation of a maned wolf dragon hybrid, but it's also kind enough to include a bit of a preview demonstration of one of its mods that he's developing. Which, as you can see here, involves the animation of some custom built wings, which actually animate. And for those of you who may have been watching my videos for quite a long time now, you'll know that custom wings are just clunky and terrible. Sai so here's done a very good example of, or demonstration of his mod and the improved animations that you can get coming very, very soon. While also, of course, keeping into the theme of the prompt itself. Now, size one here, I feel like it's got a bit more of a grandiose kind of form here. It kind of reminds me like a bit of a gargoyle in the way that it's posed and the way that the tail kind of bounces out as well. I've noticed that the wings are very high up. That's probably due to or trying to get the animation done the way it'd like. But overall, again, I really like the... I just like the style. This is our third one by Alice Bill, which was, of course, a more oriental design. You see, Alice Bill in our community, he loves his Chinese dragons, uh, the noodles as we all call them. Absolutely amazing. 
And I did say that the dragon prompt included any dragon, so wyverns, drakes, lungs, noodles, whichever ones he wants, and of course he took that opportunity. And I love how this one looks. It kind of reminds me of a Kieran, in a way. I really like the face, it's very, very nicely crafted. I gotta say, I really like the ribbon on the tail and the feathers coming out where the wings would normally be. I'm not sure what the feathers are meant to be, unless they are just feathers, like just adornments, I'm not sure, but it's a bit more thought-provoking and, I don't know, it's just different. I really, really like it. I also like that it's kept that whole elegant nature, like I mentioned earlier when I first saw the reference of a maned wolf. They do just look very graceful and very elegant and I feel like it's really captured it here as well. I just really, really like the face. I think the face is very, very well done, very stylized and just well executed. And our fourth one was by Maver, who is another very prolific user in the sport community. He does some really, really impressive just creations in general, Very normally very polished. It turns up vary between uh, caricatures and cartoons to little scenes and props and just very good at what he does. So I was really happy to see that he had chipped in for this one as well and in a really cool composite as well, as you can see here. So another one I went for a much more Wolofen kind of body with the wings tucked on as well. I really like the idea of the wings actually, that's... Huh. I really like the idea of the wings. I might have to play with that myself in the future. That's actually quite clever. This one, from what I can tell, is actually basically vanilla. I say basically, he's obviously using a stacking mod, that way he can get the wings in the way they are. But this is otherwise, like, 99% not modded. This is something that many of you could do as well, and I think it looks really, really good. I love the way the Maeve has done the face as well. One thing that I personally struggle with when it comes to sport creations is making the colours around the face like very sharp and bold. Normally it kind of bleeds into each other and the texture's a mess. No, no. Maeve has done a very, very good job of making the face very well defined. Especially using the, the rotten tail parts, I think it's called. The white fluff around the neck. Also the mane. I love the way the mane kind of pulls upwards as opposed to downwards like a normal lion's mane. His one kind of pulls upwards all around the back of the head. A bit of a mohawk thing going on, which I always love. And it kind of actually makes the wings kind of flow in just a bit better as well, kind of tucks it into the wings. Overall, man, I really like it. And <laughs> I do also really like the background setting. I think that's really nice. For our fifth one, and our first non spore one, like I said, any medium is fine here. We're just looking to make art in general just have fun. For our very first non spore creation, we've got Hazilla with his sketch of a maned wolf. Hazilla, you might recognize from the Jawizilla, the Jawadan, Jawagadora. Mates, Hazilla does such an amazing job of sketching out various Jawi kaiju hybrids. In fact, yeah, that's quite fitting hybrids. <laughs> a bit of a coincidence there. And so, again, it's really happy to see him get involved as well with making this. And I just love the way this looks. So far, I feel like a lot of our various hybrid interpretations have been a bit more of a kind of elegant setting. Has it a one here looks quite foreboding, quite menacing. Not just in the face, but more so in the posture as well. The position of the legs, the way the tail and the wings are flexed out. I really, really like it. It just has such a, I don't know, just such a badass appearance to it. And I think it looks really, really good. Following Hazilla is Lunar Eclipse, who went with a more dossier approach to their one. As I explained, they're going for a bit of a sketched out design, something that you'd quickly jostle down into a book as you're observing. Something like, I think a dossier is the right word for that. It kind of reminded me of the ARC dossiers. And I can definitely see it, I'll say a description. And again, I just really like how this came out, and I really like the style as well. I think this has been one of the more unique interpretations so far. They've obviously gone for a more of a Drake feel due to the lack of the wings, which it completely counts, so it's good to see. The body looks very armoured, which I'm not sure if it's like a design choice because it's meant to be like a dossier, so they're kind of like blocking in the structural form, or if it actually is armoured or not. I'm not sure, but I really like the way it came out. I also quite like the face. I gotta say, the eyes there kind of reminds me of some of the spore parts, so it does still have like a bit of a spore feel to it. <laughs> I also really like the coloration in the main. I think the color scheme overall fits it really well. Again, just another really cool one that I really like. For our seventh one it was Polar Mo and another really cool sketch. So this one I feel like it's got like a bit of a similar vibe to Hazilla, where it's got like a bit more of a grandiose pose, but this one looks like a much more happy and inviting. Whereas Hazilla's one was a bit of a scarier, kind of intimidating one. This one I feel like has a similar style, but it's more, 
friendly and kind of beckoning instead. I, ju I just love the face. <laughs> I really, really love the face. Something about that expression, I just really, really like it. And again, I'm also loving the addition of the mane as well. As I said, it's just really cool to see everyone's different interpretations. How we've all kind of gone for like a bit of a similar-ish thing where we've all kind of biased towards the whole wolf part. But it's really cool seeing everyone's individual little details, how they change here and there. Such as in Polar Moe's one here, it's got like a bit of spikes around the elbow, around the uh, base of the wing. The mane kind of stretching down to the tip of the tail from what I can see. Just two sets of horns as opposed to like a, an entire cresting, all that kind of stuff. It is really cool seeing how they vary. Next up, we got one by Dragon33657. Another sketch of a maned wolf dragon. I think it's the first one we've seen actually, it's got like a more of a dragon-like tail. I know we've had a couple others earlier that had like a, like a bit more of a long snake-like one, but it always seemed a bit feathered or um, fluffy. This was our first like proper chimera-like one, where the tail is just like a proper dragon tail. I love the wings, I think the wings are very very well drawn, and I love the perspective on the back wing as well. I also really like that tuft of fur around the chest. Now, when I saw pictures of maned wolves, they do have like a bit of a tufty, thick fur thing going on around their chest anyway. But I felt like Dragon here is like a really good job of illustrating that. I also quite like the expression. This one looks like a bit more of a guardian as opposed to the other two, which looked friendly and intimidating. This one looks very observant. Looks like it's looking out for something. Or perhaps it's cautious, it's defending his area. I'm not sure, but the way it's posed and the expression on its face kind of feels like it's telling a story. And I just think it's very well done. Our ninth one was by Dillo Vortex, another more on the Drake side with a lack of wings. And can I just note, guys, that this was done in paint. Good old Microsoft Paint. You really wouldn't think it, would you? I think, like, that, that is really impressive. It's <laughs> very, very well done. And I like the design as well. I think this might also be our first one where the horns are a bit curved, like, curved inwards. That's actually really, really cool to see. I just love the coloration as well. I love I love the patterning of the colours actually. Around the rear end to how the darker paint kind of encroaches down onto the body and around the neck as well. In fact, actually around the face. It's like a lot of painting all around the face in general. I really like how the colours differ around on this. I also really like how the paws have like a kind of... I mean, the paws are obviously fluffy because you can see the fur around the elbows and the shins. But the claws themselves look like they're midway between, you know, dragon and wolf. It's a really nice hybridized kind of design there. I also just love the expression on the face. And the general posture is just really interesting as well. Much more stylistic and really, really cool. And our final one is by The Hikiri. This really, really wicked looking thing. God, this one just looks awesome. One thing that's been really cool about seeing all the different interpretations is also all the different styles, all the different genres, the different mediums, textures. It's been really, really cool just seeing everyone's different takes as well as their different interpretations. And this one, it just looks... I've not really seen this style much before. No, I, have to, I think I've seen much of the curious drawings before. So this was like, kind of took me by surprise and I really, really like it. I love the expression. The expression is very piercing, just very strong. It's really cool. Also, the horn design is something very unique as well. This one kind of reminds me, actually, a bit of a griffin slash Kieran kind of thing with what I can see from the body shape. The tail is very well done. I think, in fact, I think the fur in general just looks fantastic. This one, I just really love the style. It's, it just looks amazing. And like I said, completely took me by surprise. So there we have it then, friends. That is our 10 plus me. That is our 11 different main wolf dragon designs. A lot more than I was expecting, considering this is like just the, you know, get the ball rolling, chat about it on Discord kind of thing. I'm really blown away by how many you guys did and just how great they all are. I've always, I've always said I, I just love seeing people's artwork. So I just really, really enjoy just looking, admiring, observing, you know, kind of not taking more part per se, but just, you know, talking about people's artworks and just seeing the way they did certain things and seeing everyone's different interpretations and styles to this hybrid was so, so cool. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy and have as much fun with the next hybrid idea, which is a reindeer and a chicken. No examples, I don't want to swear you guys one way or the other, so just go ahead to Google and search for a reindeer and a chicken for your references and see what inspires you, what kind of ideas you might muster up just from looking. And I really can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 
If you want to get involved and have your interpretations in the next video, just share me a link to your artwork in either YouTube, on Twitter, Discord, email. It's really easy to get a hold of me, so just show me wherever you can. Discord would definitely be the easiest, and I really, really look forward to seeing it all. Like I said earlier, things are a little bit grim right now. We're all kind of locked inside, and I just hope that this will be just something really nice, chilled out, and relaxing that we can all just do together, enjoy the company, and just enjoy some good old-fashioned creativity. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.